Hey, what's up guys, Uncle Drew here. Now clearly you've made a mistake and now you're in the same place I was just a few minutes ago before deciding to make this video. Now, in my case, uh, my computer turned off because the power went out. When I tried to restart it, I just went straight into automatic repair and usually it's not a big deal. I just go ahead and just hit restart and it goes, but this time it didn't. So I'm just gonna do a quick and easy one here. The thing that ended up working for me was that I had to go to my BIOS go to my priority for what would boot first and switch it. Apparently, for whatever reason, once my computer restarted, it decided to switch around my boot priority. And so when I switched this back to the appropriate one, I, it worked just fine. So if you're having this issue, just go to your boot priority in your BIOS and switch it back to whatever drive it is that you have booting. If you don't have more than one drive, it may be a different issue, which we'll get into here in a little bit. But I just wanna let you know right off the bat what, what my issue was. The power went out, I tried to turn on the computer, it turned on and it went straight to automatic repair. I did do several different things to see if it would work before going to the BIOS to see if there was anything going on there, whether something may or may not have been recognized. And sure enough, the uh, SSD that I had on there was not the first one that it booted to. As soon as I switched it to that one to boot first, it went ahead and booted up just fine, very quick as it should, and it worked just fine. So if that's you and you haven't tried that, maybe try that first. Now for the rest of you, we're gonna try a couple of different things. So I'll have them listed here and we'll go ahead and try some of these. If they work for you, great. If they don't, just keep moving forward. I don't claim to say that I have all the answers or to say that uh, one of these is going to work for you. It may not, you may have to just straight up reset your PC and I hope that's not the case. But if it is, I'm sorry. If you uh, are the one that did it differently than even what I suggested, let me know down below too, see what you did and maybe somebody else can learn a thing or two about fixing this automatic repair issue. All right, so startup repair is when your computer fails to boot properly or when you have another startup uh, issue. If the repair is successful, issues are fixed and then your computer will boot fine. But in some cases, if the repair is unsuccessful, you'll still you'll see an error that says automatic repair couldn't repair your PC. Again, that's what happened to me. Uh, if you read the entire error message, uh, you may have a log file there that might give you more details of the other. Uh, make sure to take a look at that because that's kind of important to what may the, be the issue that's causing it. And then you may be able to find that specific solution to that issue uh, that it may show you in the details of the error. So make sure that you take a look at that. So the first solution you can do, which is actually a pretty quick one, is it's called a rebuild BCD. And basically, uh, once you're already in the automatic repairs, you just click on advanced options then select the command prompt, uh, I, the administration one, or the administrator one. Uh, then you log in with your credentials and run the command prompt, and then type in uh, the following commands. And basically what you'll, you'll type in is exe slash rebuild bcd, and then you'll type in exe slash fix mbr, and then after that you'll, you'll type in exe slash fix boot. And basically what this does is just recreate the boot sector. Uh, you know, the fix MBR is used to just basically fix any corruptions that there may be there and uh, see if that works. That did not uh, actually work for me, it did nothing. So it was irrelevant. And even though I tried this, um, it just didn't work, so. All right, so another option, option two would be to run check disk. And basically what you do is, again, in command prompt, you would type this in. Uh, to repair the corrupt drive that you may have. And whatever your drive is, you just make sure if it's drive C or whatever drive it may be in, uh, you just go ahead and click on that. Once this is done, uh, you just restart your computer and then that'll show you if the issue was resolved. Another option if you're just stuck in the automatic repair loop is to just remove the automatic repair just altogether. And to do that in the command prompt, again, go back there and you wanna type in this here then restart your computer. Hopefully that will solve your issue. And if not, we could just go ahead and try uh, just one more thing here. So another option is to restore your registry. And basically the reason you do that is because corrupt Windows registry is also one of the reasons for the Windows repair couldn't repair your PC. And uh, again, these are pretty si simple, pretty straightforward. Go back to command prompt and then type in this here and then type in this here. Make sure you type all if you're asked whether you want to uh, override the files and then just hit enter, then restart your computer, see if that fixes it. And if all else fails, you'll probably just have to reset your PC. With that, you just go back to the troubleshooter, 
select repair your computer, go to troubleshoot, go to advanced options, and then just reset your PC. Hopefully the option to keep all your stuff is still there. It may not be, you may have to completely reset it, but I do hope that's not the case. But if it is, uh, I am sorry about that, but hopefully you'll be able to keep all your things. All right, guys, that about wraps it up. If the first thing helped you out, make sure to leave a comment and uh, I much appreciate it if you subscribe as well. And if any of these things helped, uh, make sure to leave it down below too, which one helped you. If none of them helped you and you found a different solution, make sure to leave that down below too for other people who uh, may need it. And that, I'm sure they would appreciate that. And also, again, I only put this video up because I had this issue. So um, any issues that I may have or I may encounter, I'm always gonna put them up. And hopefully that my tutorial will help you out as well. Just remember, I do have an Xbox Game Pass giveaway for a PC at 1,000 subscribers. Make sure to like, subscribe, and leave a comment on the video. I definitely do appreciate when you guys watch the videos and definitely watch them in their entirety because that's what Google wants. And uh, what Google wants, Google gets. So make sure you watch the entire video. Um, and once again, I'll see you guys in the next video.